out of your studio discography, who who are some of the artists that you've worked with and, and some of the stuff that you're real proud about? Wow. Um, I got to I, I got to work with especially in the R and B world, I've I've been able to work with some true legends. Um, you know, in addition to Curtis, uh, who I did work in the studio with quite a bit and I produced um, a couple of songs with. But I uh, produced the Shy Lights out of Chicago, uh, Billy Paul, the Three Degrees, Benny King. Um, Benny King was, you know, uh, such a pro, such a gentleman. I mean, they they all are in in their own ways because most of the people that I was working with were very seasoned artists, and they came up through a time where they knew uh, what their role was and. Nobody got in anybody's way, but it, there was still that back and forth communication. Um, I think the records I'm most proud of, um, there's a there was a gentleman named Vernon Garrett, who was like 67, 68 years old, and just has this amazing voice. And uh, it, I didn't do a lot of blues records. I, I started out doing a lot of blues, and then I kind of got relieved from that. But he was one of the blues artists I had, and that record I just really, to this day, I still enjoy it. I mean, it just has all the elements, nice big band arrangements on it, uh, great players. Um, I mentioned earlier Bob Thompson, who, you know, just. We, we just found that we had this, from the first phone call that we had together, we had this whole synchronicity thing going. Um, it's really hard to describe to people, and I won't try, even try and do that right now. But working with him was just such a joy, and we always knew what the other person was going to do before we did it. And it just made, you know, all his records just really have a... a good spirit about them. Um, Don Diego was another artist that uh, I did, when I first met Don, his record label told me they needed a single. So um, I had a, a tune laying around and I said, well, let me, you know, flesh it out a little bit more and we'll, you know, and they're like, no, we need to have the record at Mastering tomorrow. So I was like, well, where's Don? And they're like, we'll get him here in 10 minutes. So now he's playing to my demo, and we just did a quick mix on it, put it on the record, and it did turn out to be a, a good seller for him. So the record label came to me to do the, the entire second record. And um, that's a record where, um, when we were talking about Joseph earlier, I immediately brought him in on a couple of tracks, uh, especially one that required uh, upright bass. Uh, because there's no finer upright player in, in, in Atlanta. And on, I think there was another tune with uh, Gerald Albright that um, I had Joseph play on. But that whole record, because Joseph, J Joseph uh, Gerald Albright, Kirk Whalem, um, it was another record that just kind of came together very easily, very nicely, was um, radio, um, you know, TV shows, a lot, you know, the, the music has survived, you know, it's, it, and that's been, you know, 12, 13 years ago. So it was a great, um, you know, it's a great feeling that, you know, sometimes when I cut on, you know, maybe even the Weather Channel and I hear one of those songs, um, and, you know, the fact that I got to write half of the record, that didn't hurt. Uh, so, you know, th that's a record that I'm very proud of. Um, it's not too many artists that I've worked with that I've just not been proud of. Um, you know, I got to work with Jermaine Dupri uh, when he did Criss Cross, Cross first record with Jump. Um, and, you know, that was the first time I really saw a guy in that genre who had a great work ethic. I mean, he first one to arrive in the studio, uh, he would leave with me in the evening uh, or with the engineer. But he did no breaks, just go, go, go. And uh, and I learned a lot from him on that, on how he handled all that. Mm -hmm.